Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel Supreme's Coaching and today we are going to discuss about the topic self-inductance and derived expression in case of solenoid. So first of all, let us understand the topic what is self-inductance. As you can see, it is composed of the two words self and inductance. So first of all, let us understand what is meant by inductance. Simply inductance is the property. It is the property of the conductor to produce the EMF by the change of flow of current. Once again, it is simply the property of the conductor to produce EMF by the change of flow of current. So from that view, we can define the self-inductance as the phenomena by which there is the generation or production of the EMF by changing the current flowing through that particular coil or a conductor. For example, let us consider we have one coil which have n number of the tones and i amount of the current. This i amount of the current is flowing in this particular coil. Then if by the flow of this current, if EMF is generated within this coil, then that phenomena is known as self-inductance. So let us define the self-inductance. Self-inductance is defined as, it is defined as, as the phenomenon, phenomenon of production of, production of EMF, EMF due to change in current flowing in the same coil. So this is the phenomenon of production of the EMF due to change in the current flowing in the same coil. Now let us derive its general expression. We have here the quail which is made up of the n number of the tones where i amount of the current is flowing. We know that whenever the current is flowing in any quail then it set off its own magnetic field. Due to that magnetic field, flux, magnetic flux is generated in this quail. So let phi be the flux generated due to this current i. If there is any variation in this current, I, then there is also the variation in the flux. So by, from the Faraday law of electromagnetic induction, if there is a change in the flux in any coil, then there is always a production of the EMF. So, EMF is generated in this coil. How EMF is generated? It's simply whenever there is a fluctuation in the current in the coil, then it set of its own magnetic field, that magnetic field will generate its own magnetic flux and if there is a change or variation in the current, flow of the current, then there is also the variation or of change in the flux, magnetic flux and that change in flux generates the EMF which always tries to oppose this current, flow of current, opposed to flow of current. So it is found that change in flux is directly proportional to I. It means that whenever the current change in flow of current is increased, then flux also increases. And if the change in current or flow of current decreases, then flux also decreases. Now from this relation, we can derive an expression for the self-inductance, L equals to Li, where L is the proportionality constant and it is called self-inductance. So, self-inductance can also be defined as the ratio of flux upon current. L can also be defined as, as the ratio of changing. flux per unit 
current what you get current so this is the expression for the self inductance l equals to phi upon i this is, let this equation be equation number one now we will deal in case of solenoid topic self inductance of a solenoid so for this let us consider a one solenoid which is turned into n number of atoms capital n let small l be length of the solenoid and a be the cross sectional area where i amount of the current is flowing in it i amount of the current is flowing let b n be the number of number of tons then we have already told that if there is a flow of the current in this solenoid then it set up its own magnetic field in case of solenoid the magnetic field that is set up by this flow of the current is given as v equals to mu naught i n where i is the current and n is the number of the tons per per unit length so small n is equals to number of tons per unit length per unit length now due to this magnetic field in this solenoid there is always the magnetic flux so that magnetic flux let that magnetic flux be phi then from the definition of the flux we can write from definition of flux definition of flux we can write phi equals to nba now putting the value of b this magnetic field in this equation let it be equation number one then putting this value we get phi equals to mu naught i n into n n now we can uh, express this small n in terms of capital n so capital n can, uh, we can write mu naught equals to i into n upon small l where l is the length of the length of the solenoid into a into n equals to mu naught i n square a upon l this is the flux from the definition from definition now we have already discussed that from the faraday law of electromagnetic induction whenever there is a change in the no, change in the flow of the current then there is a change in the flux so that can be written as phi is directly proportional to the i this can also be written as i equals to l i so from let it be equation number two and this equation be as equation number three now from the equation two and three we can equate this phi phi because there is both the phi so l i equals mu naught i n square a upon l now we can cancel the term i sorry cancel the term i so therefore l equals to we can write l equals to mu naught n square a upon small l where l is the self inductance small l means length of this solenoid and a is the a is the cross sectional area of this solenoid and n is the total number of the tons of the solenoid so self inductance of a solenoid can be written as can be written as can be written as l equals to mu naught n square a upon l this is the required expression of the self inductance in a solenoid